Now you're watching a lot of those videos on your phone. We do everything on our phones these days. Many people say they can't live without it. Sounds like an addiction. Experts say it is. And this is the time of year a lot of your kids are asking for smartphones. 10 News reporter Isabel Mascarenia shows you why they're the most vulnerable when it comes to digital addictions. Ken Litt says his four-year-old twins, Samuel and Frederick, know how to use a cell phone nearly as well as a playground. I mean, they can do anything on an iPad and a cell phone except make a call. And cell phones have become a necessity for parents and kids to stay in touch. I spotted parents in the park glued to their phones. But what is the right age to give a child a smartphone? I wish I had a good answer. I have no idea. A child who's eight, nine years old probably is an, is an age that should have a phone. Psychologist Dr. Eddie Regnier says the privilege should come with rules parents must stick to. But at the same time, we should also take it away from them. We should not let them have it 24 hours a day. When they come home, they should put it away and interact with us face to face in real life. They should learn the social skills necessary. At dinner tables, they should put the phone away. Otherwise, Regnier says kids risk becoming addicted. Some kids now who, in fact, have been on social media so much, on a cell phone so much, they look autistic. They look like they're, they're impaired socially. They don't make eye contact. Ken says when the day comes for his twins to get a smartphone. It's all about monitoring. It's all about taking the time to to know what they're doing. We can never abdicate our role as a parent. We have to communicate with our children to know what it is they're exposed to, what it is they're seeing, who, who they're talking to. We have to monitor these things. There's, there's no shortcut to being a good parent. It requires work. Shannon Clymer's 18-month-old daughter, Gabrielle, already likes to push the cell phone buttons. She's worried. There are a lot of predators in the world. And... Shannon doesn't know when her daughter will get a phone, but this much she does know. To keep her away from it as long as possible. In Sarasota, Isabel Mascareñas, 10 News. <laughs> Dr. Regnier suggests having a basket at home where your kids put their phones where when they come home from school. And then at night, he says that he would go through his kids' phones and social media accounts. He says if your child is seriously addicted to their phone, you should see a professional. The addiction is the same thing as gambling. It takes time to change that behavior.